So welcome to the class on mechanism of action of hydrophonium as well as let's learn about the tensilon test and how to differentiate between the myasthenia gravis and the cholinergic crisis. So welcome to I love pharmacology. So the mechanism of hydrophonium is so it is anti-choline esterases. So they are the acetylcholine esterase inhibitor where they are going to increase the acetylcholine levels. So basically it is a shorter acting anti-choline esterases which is basically used to differentiate between the cholinergic crisis and the myasthenic gravies. So let's understand how to differentiate between these two conditions. So whenever we have a muscle weakness it can be attributed to two things either due to myasthenia gravis or cholinergic crisis. In myasthenia gravis what happens is so there is a decreased in neuromuscular junction activity which leads to the decreased response to the acetylcholine on the neuromuscular junction which leads to the decreased contractility of the skeletal muscle fibers which leads to the, which leads to the muscle weakness. Whereas on the other hand cholinergic crisis there is excess activity of the acetylcholine on the NM junction on the muscarinic receptors. So thereby there is an increased overt burden on the neuromuscular junction which leads to the muscle weakness. So whenever we give a hydrophonium which is a short acting anticholinesterases which are administered through intravenous route and it is a short acting which acts for less than 10 minutes. So in conditions such as myasthenia gravis, hydrophonium will going to increase the strength of the muscle weakness. It improves the muscle weakness by acting on the neuromuscular junction as hydrophonium will going to increase the acetylcholine levels. So hydrophonium with myasthenia gravis, it improves the muscle function. Whereas on the other hand, with respect to the cholinergic crisis, administration of hydrophonium will going to decrease or worsen the muscle weakness as already there is a continuous stimulation of the neuromuscular junction by the acetylcholine. Upon that, if you are giving the hydrophonium, further it increases the levels of the acetylcholine which can worsen the muscle weakness. So this is how we can differentiate between the myasthenia gravis and cholinergic crisis and hydrophonium is a diagnostic drug and this test which is used to differentiate between the myasthenia gravis and cholinergic crisis is also called as tensilon test. So if you find this video useful please do subscribe to our channel I Love Pharmacology for more updates on pharmacology. Thank you.